Hello, my name is Ikello Harrod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory, and the world has changed, y'all. We are living in the age of pseudo-write plugins. So what am I doing today? I'm going to show you uh, some pseudo-write plugins, but more specifically, I'm going to show you my pseudo-write plugin. Let's hop right in. All right, so over here is my... Well, this is all of the plugins. As you can see, they go on for quite a while. We've been working on these for a long time. In my particular list of plugins that I've added, one of them stands out because it was created by me. All right, so this one is called the Outline Resource chapter type report by Ikel O'Harrod. Now, oh, there are eight people using it. That's pretty nice. This plugin allows you to highlight text. This should include your story in a nutshell, and it will render out a chapter type report breakdown of your idea. It will give you at least 24 chapters, and it will repeat chapter types where necessary in order to further your plot. It will tell you inside of the report why it gives you each of the chapter types as it pertains to your story. It will use the specific examples that were highlighted in your text as the basis for the report, and you should be able to get quite an insight into how to structure your book. That is it in a nutshell. I wanted to build something inside of PseudoWrite when they tasked all of us with maybe building something. I, I, the first thing that I thought to myself was a uh, template, as it were. And this particular template is a chapter type report, a report that you can basically take your blurb of your story and get a comprehensive breakdown of how it could lay out in an outline perfectly. So you could have the one where people are introspect introspective and then something happens in the next one. So that's an action. It's absolutely specific to whatever you put in there. It looks at it. The large language model looks at what you put in there and then automatically creates a report around all of the things that it gleams from your explanation, your scenario, your story, your plot. All right, let's play with this particular report. I'm going to create something quick and easy. All right, let's create a blank. Let me zoom out here. Zoom out and we'll go back to home and we're going to open up. Why don't we open up Space Waltz? Because I have I exported any of Space Waltz? No, I have not. That's actually nice. I can take just the premise of Space Waltz right here and grab it, copy it. And then we can put it into an independent document out here. We're going to add a new document. Actually, we're going to title this document Test. Test Plugin. <laughs> That'll work. And then we will paste in our scenario, and then we're going to highlight it. Now, as you can see, you have all of your laser tools here. They are still, they are still, all of this stuff is still present. There we go. Let's go over here. There we go. Now, as you can see right here, here's everything highlighted. I'm going to take the plugin and I'm going to click on it and it's going to actually spit out an entire report that gives me at least 24 chapters. 
And as you can see, it's just going and going and going until the report is done. Now that the report is done, I can take all of this information and use it comprehensively in the actual outline that I'm making inside of the story engine. I can bring that idea right into story engine and have a very solid concept for what I exactly want to do with my story and my plot in my book inside of pseudo right. And that's my plugin. I hope that you have enjoyed this very quick, very succinct, very to the point video because this is the future. There are lots of programs out there and they all want to help you become a better, a better writer. So I hope that this was at least a little bit insightful on how and what you could create with those plugins, what you can create using the plugins and what you can create using my plugin. My name is Ikello Harrod and I will see you in the next video.